What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. If you're also... Uh, uh, I the, 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 can't speak. If you're wondering why I'm not streaming today, it's, I'm personally just not in the mood to stream today. I might stream tomorrow, but right now I'm just not in the mood for... Shut up, John. But personally, I'm just not in the mood to uh, stream right now. I'm more in the mood to pull... Just recording a... Uh, recording episode, so... When do we stop? When we reach Paris? Anyway, last episode, uh, me, me and the boys, John and Dutch and Strauss, uh, got in a gunfight. And I have officially 100%ed Red Dead Redemption 2. Thank fucking God, it took forever to do, but it was worth it. I actually got it uh, finished. It's 100%ed. I'm done. And now I can just play this game normally. So. You and Charles can go take a look, clear off any oh, line man. before the Yeah, I'm, I'm just not in personally in the mood to stream tonight. I'm just kind of just. I don't know. I'm kind of like tired. I think honestly because I fell asleep at you know like four or five in the morning. I'm like kind of tired right now, so I'm probably just gonna pass out on stream. So. We are just the same. So. Charles, come with me. We got work to do. Now, where have I heard that before? Don't worry, I will stream again pretty soon. Because that stream last time was really fucking fun. So, I will stream soon. Alright, let's head on over, over to Dewberry Creek. Great. So, where are we going? Dewberry Not Creek. Spot to camp. We're packing up and moving on. Again? We have to. Nah, it's so good to hear Arthur again because. Like I said, 100% in this game, and it took me a long time to actually do it. I mean, I could probably do it again on this save if I really wanted to, but I'm not in the mood to 100% this game again. It was fun, but still. Or actually, it was kind of aggravating, the majority of it. A lot of it was aggravating. Make sure it's clear and a good place to lie low. I just want to, you know, a get a couple episodes recorded and tomorrow we'll do the stream, you know, for the official return of Clementine. Right. And I never did, unfortunately, get that Clementine video out. But I'm still, you know, I guess I don't have to make it beforehand. I can just voice my concerns out there. Well, I'm still going to do a the comic review, so that's still going to happen, the Clementine comic review, whenever I get it. And I'll end the the streams when I get it or at least when we finish the se seasons wow that's weird I'm so, I'm so used to so used to that line getting cut man I keep forgetting like I said I got this badass horse now so things are gonna cut you know what I still need to do I still need to donate to Dutch and unlock the fast travel ability Damn. Oh, that would have been a really good point. Oh, this would have been a really good point to do the challenge. I see something over there. You see it? Someone on the ground. Yeah, some thing right next to it, Charles. Looks like trouble got here before us. What happens if I shoot it? You get mad at me? Mm. There's a camp just up ahead. Sure. Let's get ready for business. Any issues? Shoot first, bait second. <laughs> okay, here's where I really don't. I'm. Where I think it's kind of out of character if you're a high honor Arthur here in a minute. Let me get there. I need to look at the weight of this Arthur because I think he's. How? Wait, hold on. I need to look at the weight of him. Okay, he's at average and. Okay, yeah. He, he is actually average, so. Now what's funny is I actually um that all the all that for Arthur I th uh when it says average with the um percentages on that screen I think it's different for between John and Arthur I think if you have what I just had on Arthur you're good on John it's bad because it's like he's underweight for some reason it's weird I don't understand why it changed. You okay? Don't 
Are you okay? He said, are you okay? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? No. It's German? No. No. We know a German. He's kind of a douche. Get out of here. Go. We need the land. Go. Vamos! They took our father. Who did? Men. Last night. Where did they take him? They ain't no business of ours. Do whatever you have this already out of character for Arthur. Their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on, Arthur. I still think this is very out of character for a high honor Arthur. That's why I'm like, he's probably meant to be a low honor in the very beginning of the game. Because your honor doesn't start affecting uh, uh, Arthur until chapter th until we'll chapter three. We're, we're finally in, in now. That, well, after this mission, we'll be in chapter three. It took a while. And I need to take this jacket off because it's, it's, it's about to get hot. Let's get hot as fuck. Which means my Nico Bella look will finally leave. You were just going to send that woman and her children on their way? We're wanted, man. Well, I mean, what would you do? We got Pinkertons breeding down our necks. We should be moving camp, not running off on some wild goose chase. Come on, Arthur. That's not how you are. I agree. Look at that honor. That's pretty good, boy. Maybe you don't know me as well as you think you do. Although, for some reason, when I was John, I did actually get in more trouble than I ever did as Arthur, which makes no fucking sense, because Arthur... Is the outlaw? You're kind of meant to get in more trouble with him, but not nah, much. Well behaved with Arthur. It's with John, I get more, I get more crazy. So, that full honor though. Anyway, when you were fishing with Jack, said they were on to us. Offered me freedom if I turned Jack. You know what I find kind of funny? When the twelve-year time skip happens in this game, no one ages. Absolutely no one ages, other than Jack. You know, I thought I would expect a bit of a. You know, John to look a little older, maybe his hair can start graying. I mean, Abigail barely looks any older. I don't know, I don't know, apparently th four years do her, do her in. Anyway, you were saying? We should have moved right then, if you ask me. Bastards told me they killed Mac. They said it right in front of Jack. Ah, uh, that kid, it's gonna be tough for him. Yeah. But he has more folk looking out for him than most of the rest of us had growing up. Mm. John said he was going back to the auction yard to collect the money for the Why? Shows. He'd be a damn idiot going anywhere near that town. Right? John is an idiot in this game, Arthur. You're going to have to get used to it, unfortunately. Oh, well. If it's John's idea, it must be a good one. Hey, what is it with you and him? Uh, uh, he kind of pissed me off a few recently, you know. You know, we used to be cool, but right now I'm still kind of pissed at him. They carry on along this no, I kind of, I do want to shave my beard, but the only way I'm going to be able to grow my hair back is if I keep my beard, so. When Jack was real young, a long while, a year ago, he did? Yeah. we was family, you know? Hey, quiet now. There's a camp up ahead. Uh, I'm so ready to have that, uh... Seems deserted. I am so ready to have the, uh... The, uh, Explorer ch Challenge. Uh, uh, the Explorer, uh... Bandler stuff, all the... I don't know. Weapons gear. The Explorer you know weapons gear unlocked. It's gonna be so nice to have it. Much easier to defend. Yeah, it's a bad little spot. Maybe. This looks like our feather, Charles. Quick, cut him free and let's get out of here. Shit. I see three coming this way. I don't see shit. Oh god, wait, wait, where the hell is that other one? Oh, there he is. Oh, thank god for this manual dead eye. It's so nice to have. Ah, oh, oh, I will never take you for granted again, man manual dead eye. You know, I don't know. I just don't like it when it's automatic. It's, it's bothersome. Oh my God! Does this dude have a fucking Gatling gun? Holy shit! It's like 17 points. You're supposed to die by tuberculosis, aren't there? Not by getting gunned down like John. Jesus. Schneiden Sie das Seil durch, bitte. 
Okay. What? Getting you out of here. Thank God there's subtitles exist. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Yeah, okay. Yeah, is he right. speaking actual German or is he just speaking gibberish? I don't really know. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot you want ah. for us. I agree. All right. Get on my horse, you motherfucker. Come on. I'll take you back to your family. Also soll ich mitkommen? Why? <sighs> English, please. What word? I don't know. I don't know what you're saying, man. Speak some kind of English, something. Wo bringen Sie mich hin? What the hell did you do to those fellers? Wie bitte? Those men back there. Why did they take you? Geld, money. Meiner Familie gehört eine Goldmine. Sie wollen Lösegeld erpressen. Okay, I can kind of hear what he said. Said just a smidgen. Sie bringen mich zu meiner Familie? Vielen Dank. Wie haben Sie sie gefunden? I kind of hear what he's saying a little bit. I can kind of hear it. It's not 100%. Sounds gobbled up a bit, but I can kind of make out what he's saying just naturally, actually. Like, I can hear it. A guy can hear, I can hear certain words and I'm like, oh, okay, that's what you're really saying. I can, I can hear some of it. There they are. Oh, God, so I, dunk. I definitely would not have guessed that that's what he would have said there. Nope, never would have picked up what he said there. Okay, that's not like one moment. Thank you. Thank you. Vielen Dank, herzlichen Dank. Guess it was a pleasure. Oh shit, that's a fucking go bar. That is not. Yeah. Uh, I ain't complaining. Go bar. Hell yeah. Worth it. You gotta fucking go bar out of it. This place, oh, it'll be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Hey, yo, bastard. <laughs> Been a long time to what? That's this. Fuck you. Been a long, long time to see you, old man. Mr. Pearson, put everyone to work. Make this place a home. Man, we're 13 minutes in this episode. Uh, Shit, this is gonna, ain't gonna be a long episode at all. You know, this actually might be the first episode where I barely have to edit. The best of it. You know, because I usually cut stuff out. This may not be the first episode, and this maybe episode two, uh, episode one. No, maybe episode three. Maybe episode three. Where I don't have to cut stuff out. This might be a one take go. Which I am kind of ready for to get back to a little bit. Because, man. Because maybe that's why. I don't know. Because for some reason. Um, when I edit. Uh, not edit. What am I trying to say? When I upload videos, I'm having like a weird problem where they won't upload on the first try. I've been having that weird. It's weird. So, uh, what I'll probably do is. Oh, right. First of all, nice. We have fucking $300 out of this, by the way. If you want any proof, I better contribute it to camp because, well, they're going to need it. Unfortunately, as much as I would love them not to have... As much as I would love them not to have all this money and me have it, I do kind of need... You know, I do sort of need the fast travel. That's gonna help me out a lot in this game, so. But I was saying, uh, I've been having like this weird glitch where every time I'm up. The hell? Okay. Uh, I've been having a weird glitch where every time I've been uh, trying to upload, I had to upload it again for some reason. It's been weird. Shit. Well, that didn't exactly go exactly how I thought. Well, okay, we'll just upgrade this. I, I thought I upgraded this earlier. Okay, I, I have no idea how much money I actually ha have, but I'm going to try to see. 
No, I want to save my fucking cash. Damn it. Stop picking up the ledger. Press contribute, you dumb mother... Okay, let's see how much money I can actually donate to the gang. Let's see. 10, 25... 12, 3, or 6 actually. 6, 10, and 3. I have no idea what that all is because I didn't add it all. $66, damn it, or $3 off until beauty. Actually, uh, we said ourselves a shitload of cash, actually, now I think about it. We only, we're in only spending a. Never mind, we didn't sa save a lot, actually. Well, we saved. Well, we still saved. Well, we saved ourselves about three hundred bucks. So, but I had to use all my gold bar. Shit! I didn't want to lose my gold bar, man. Brand new. The lights of that gold bar. All right, I'm finally gonna change my look because I'm sick and tired of Arthur having this. And plus, it's about to get cold or hot. I don't know temperature names. It's about to get hot, so I think it's time to change some clothes. All right, Arthur, you can finally start stop wearing that jacket and put some the what's over that. I'm own underweight now, supposedly. I don't really see it. Okay, vest. Do I want to wear a vest? Yeah, uh, I think I'll. Nah, no, no vest. No, no vest. Actually, damn, Arthur does look a little skinny now I think about it. Where is the gloves? There we go. Oh, God. No, you know, I actually really like the look of those, but, you know. Alright, back to the good old Rambler. I ain't wearing, wearing this shit, hell no. Open that bitch up. Alright, alright, uh... I think that'll work. And good old... Wait, if these are in black, that'd be better. Nope. Alright, and good old work pants. Alright, now we finally got the Arthur. We're gonna see if, see for a good while. Actually, I think my hair is actually grown out too. Quite a lot, actually. I think my hair grew a lot. Quite a lot. Uh. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna shave the beard. And shave the beard and. Hmm. Do we go for? You know what? I'm kind of in the mood for the goatee. Let's go ahead and give Arthur a go good old goatee. Cause why not? Alright. Finally, my Arthur looks right. Arthur looks good. He doesn't like Nico Bellic anymore. He looks like my own my own kind of Arthur, so. How you doing, old friend? Uh, it's funny. Plus in and up down here. My daddy died in the field in Pennsylvania. Fighting this lot. I have Okay, by the way, I'm actually now hundred percent convinced that the Red Dead series and that uh GTA are connected. And here's why. The Undead Nightmare guy, the Sasquatch Hunter, is a official, and it's official, uh, what's his name, uh, grandfather, great-grandfather of one of the, one of the Sasquatch Hunter in GTA, if you, when you 100% that game. Now, of course, that guy is not actually a Sasquatch Hunter, because, you know, Undead Nightmare is non canon. But we can say that the guy probably was looking for a big, for, looking for Big Fud and all that. But we can confirm now that there is indeed an Arthur Morgan and a, a John Marston, and this is actually a prequel to Grand Theft Auto V. So there you go. John Marston, Arthur Morgan, Nico Bellic, and Trevor Frank and, Tr and Mike are all in the same universe. Thanks to that one character. So, chronologically, it's Red Dead 2, Red Dead Redemption, GTA 4, GTA 5, and then GTA 6, whenever that comes out.
Oh, wait, actually, it's official. It's coming out in th four years. Holy shit. Four years we're gonna have to wait. We're, I'm, I'm gonna be in my fucking 20s when that shit comes out. It took 12 years for that game to release. 12 years! Way too long. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there, there was us. Which means it's taken seven for this. Which means it's, it took seven years. From this game to the next game. So, I mean, if it's taken seven years. Man, I, I hope that game's brilliant, man. That game better be on par with Red Dead Rockstar. It better be on fucking par. So the president mean that it's not a remaster of GT of Red Dead Redemption, but you know what? I don't think we're ever gonna need a remake of that, although I desperately want it. We have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. Where we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both Get ready for that. You hear that line again. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. All right. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. All right, got it, Dutch. But start turning over the soil. Dutch is asking not to cause weapons, not to use weapons, or cause trouble on roads. Dutch. Get ready to see that line, uh, that uh, notification in 24/7 every time you reach here. Rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, this is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Alright. Well, that's what the jackass is one. Hello, gentlemen. Oh, shit, Tron. You've been a while since I've seen you. Look what the cat drug in. I seem to have gotten myself in a spot. Well, well, look who it is. We can't sort this out. How long has it been since we've seen Trelawney? Like, since episode three or four? About a damn while. How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh. Hoagie McIntosh, huh, Dutch? This is my deputy, Archibald McBrick. It is good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. Now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. <laughs> now, can we... Can we just... I wouldn't do that if I were you! I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Great. Allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy! Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Stay with that train! Don't let them get away! Alright, got it. Keep your guns holstered. We need them Anderson boys alive. Do we though? I mean we can Come on, hurry! Do an Arabian, calm your ass down. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, we're good. Faster, come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. Good God, you shut up. I forgot how annoying Archibald actually kind of is in this game. Please, it would be way easier. God damn it, this guy's an idiot. Why not? It'd be easier. Oh! Well, he's dead. Fuck the damn train, CJ! Styles it up with the. Okay, so who's making bets that in GTA 6 we're gonna see. A, a, a mission where we're driving along a train and we have to answer it. I'm, I'm calling it now. I bet that's what's going to happen. For real. Ah! Motherfucker. Ah! You son of a bitch, get off me! Get off me, you ugly motherfucker! Oh, 
Whoa. He's dead. Alright, come here, you bitches. Can I not just shoot him? Please. I don't get really give a damn that he said not to shoot him. When the hell have I ever listened to anybody in my life in this game? <laughs> come here, you bastards. Fuck you. Come here, you douche. Did you really just try to try to not? Did you really just try to try that? You dumb! Ow, you bitch! Get the! F you son of a bitch! You really tried it! You really tried to get in a fist fight with Arthur Morgan! You done! Fuck! Oh my god! Maybe he had! Oh shit! No, I, maybe I don't need to talk shit right now. Not to generally fight this dude. Oh my god! Oh, he's very dead. Oh, he's fucked. Let me put on my hat on at least. Come here, you bastard! For real. Let me go. Can't do that. All right. Now there is a thing in this in this where it says when you're in a fist fight with him, don't get hurt. So. Well, I think I failed. Oh well. Can I have a knife? Please, can I just stab him myself? Why am I not allowed to kill people? I'm an outlaw, what do I care? Not as easy as it sounds, Archibald! Ow. That might help me in this fight. You do not look very well, Arthur. Yeah, damn, you are bruised. This is what I mean, I wonder how GTA 6 is going to be, because I heard it was originally going to be in the 80s. It's where the plot was going to be. At least, well, at least there's a GTA 6 coming. Bring him out here. Deputy? Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that yep. him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? Take him in, come on. A fine job, well done. Pat on the back for me for stopping the train. Yeah. There you go. You are a natural. I am already cover covered in blood. This is amazing. You know what's funny? This whole mission was just us going to go fish. That was the whole point of this. Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there. Clearly we didn't. Well, uh, hmm. I mean, I completely talked over. It wasn't really paying attention to what was going on. And we will decline it because I usually have no reason to do it. I don't want to get back at camp quickly. I, exactly say that. I, I mean, unless we want to go to camp quick. No, not really. That's why I'll do it, but in the end, it's not really like... It is actually a required part of the mission if you want to get gold, but I'm not in the mood for gold. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain around here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Like this might be why you didn't like them. The one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Roads, sir. Yeah. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. One thing I love about this game, too, is like... There's always kind of like a classic... Uh, there's always a different kind of like uh, Western town. Uh, and Red Dead and, you know, Valentine is the classic. You know, just... Truly awful. Well, I know, I say Rhodes is more like the classic, is the classic, uh, town, is more, much more the classic town. Stuff you'll see in, like, the old movies, like, just the dirt and the grass. But Armadillo is really the classic one, and Valentine, Valentine, I don't know, all of it, I love it. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Very little. Oh, good. They're back. And that's your friend, right? Where? Yep. Okay. We're gonna stop Where's just ahead on the right. I see Jose at least. Which I don't mind. Mind I prefer Jose anyway. Off your horse and carry him in for me. Sure. The sooner you get him off your horse, sooner we can get him in a cell. 
Okay, I got it. Hey, fellas. Hey, who's there? Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for just yeah. one. So, you know it, Dutch. My friend here, or, uh, friend is free. Hoagie. No more trouble. Kind of name is Hoagie. I promise you. This I mean, it's a great name, don't get me wrong, but. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. <laughs> Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Uh, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Oh, man, that goatee really does work for Arthur. Ugly rooms. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan on the edge of town behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Grays, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Hmm. Two old plantation houses falling out. Rebel gold. Marrying cousins. Wait, what? Hold on. So this is Alabama? Start poking around. Oh Aw, shit. Out about that. I swear to God, it's the flag actually looks like the Alabama flag. I'm going to laugh my ass off. Wait, wait, we can actually find the, the Lemoyne flag, can't we? Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and, and compare it to the Alabama flag real quick. Hold on. Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. Okay, let's see what the Alabama flag Oh, it's literally like a. Oh. I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. That's the flag of Alabama. Okay. It's just white with a red X on it. Very similar to the Confederate flag, actually. Actually, damn near exact. Okay, so these two plantation families. Right, I want to see the Lemoyne flag. Sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend Archibald. Good. Because I know they have uh, like flags of each state in this game, which again, nice detail of that. You know, look and think about how good this game looks. Imagine what GTA 5 is, or 6 is going to look like. Like, it's going to be amazing, man. What about it? Well, considering we're at the 30 minute mark, I'm going to have unfortunate not fish with y'all. I'll need to relax someplace. Fair enough. It looks like it's you and me, old man. See y'all later. Good job, Jose. Good job, you jackass. All right, let's go ahead and find that uh, Lemoyne flag, and then I think I'll end this episode. Hold on. Let's see. Uh, we'll, okay, we only got. We got nothing. Wow. Okay. Well, I want to see where the uh, is that the Lemoyne flag right there. Yeah, that that looks like it. Where's my binoculars? Here they are. All right, let's go ahead and get a good look at them. If this one will calm down, let's see how. Okay, it doesn't look exact. Okay, it looks like if I could get a great, a very good look at it, that'd be a bit better. Uh, that's the closest I think we're gonna get. Let's look at it. Uh, yeah, that looks nothing like the Alabama flag. Damn it! Ah, damn it! That would have been funny. That would have been really funny. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Red Dead Redemption 2 Revisited. Uh, don't worry, we'll, we will stream again soon, pro probably sometime tomorrow, I just didn't really feel like it tonight. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, hit the bell for more videos just like this one, and tomorrow we will stream at some point. Anyway, see you guys in the next video, Bye bye